Hello and welcome to my first look at the Indomitus novel by Gav Thorpe. It's to coincide with uh, the brand new uh, Warhammer 40,000 Ninth Edition uh, box set uh, rules. Gav Thorpe, um, you may have heard him before. He is a familiar 40k author. One of his most recent books uh, is The First Wall, uh, which is um, the third Siege of Terror uh, book. Um, it's quite a weighty book. Uh, I am enjoying it though. I like his uh, writing style. Um, but this book here, um, I will go through the, the preface right now. It will set you back 18 pounds. That's about what Games Workshop normally charge for their uh, hardback books. The paper isn't like the best quality. In fact, I'd probably say it's really, really quite poor quality um, compared to, um, you know, the, the Siege of Terror books at least, which are, you know, I say two pound more. They started off at 18 pound. It, the, the, the paper quality really is a, is a letdown. Uh, in my opinion, they should have used at least the same paper quality as, as those books, and um, they are the same price. Uh, I'm just wondering if Games Workshop are kind of um, hopping on the, oh, it's a new edition, uh, new book, we'll, we'll charge it at, at this price. And that's kind of what I thought with a lot of their hardbacks, that um, regardless of quality, they would start charging them at a specific price. In my opinion, this book should have only been about £14, uh, or maybe even 12 no doubt you could probably pick it up from Amazon for an awful lot cheaper. Uh, I think Element Games can save a bit of money as well. Let me read the uh, preface. Uh, for nearly 10 years, the Indomitus Crusade has waged a war of defiance and reconquest in the war-torn Imperium. Attached to Crusade Fleet Quintus, dubbed the Cursed Fleet by many, the Ultramarines of the Ithraca's Vengeance are drawn to a stricken world. With millions enslaved, a malign Necron technology siphons the souls of the innocent and heralds the Silent Kingdom's expansion. The Ultramarines face an impossible decision. Mount a desperate last stand to destroy the Xenos stronghold, or break away and damn the entire sector. To bring word of this ancient foe's resurgence uh, to the only being capable of halting it, uh, the Lord Primarch Rebute Gilliman. Reboot Gilliman. Um, so there you go, uh, it will set you back, I want to say about 300, not even 300, look, oh crikey. Yeah, it is 278 pages, so not even the 300 mark, and like I say, the, the paper, the quality just isn't, isn't there at all, which is really a letdown, especially for a book that's 18 quid. You know, you pay 18 pound, same as Siege of Terror books, you'd expect the same quality, and if Games Workshop are going to be charging the same price, then you should, then the same quality is the, is the least that you should be expecting. Um, but that's the whole point of these first looks and reviews and things, is to give you my honest, uh, raw opinion, so that um, you can make your own uh, decision. But here you go, here's some uh, other, other books um, from the Black Library. So you've got Dark Imperium and Plague War. I think I've actually got um, both of those, um, but the Dark Imperium book, uh, was in hardback um, but Guy Haley um, really enjoying his his books uh, recently so yeah it uh, was first published of course this year 2020 uh, there's no artwork in there at all um, it I think it's got yeah same kind of uh, written font for the chapters and then it's got a little bit of a your next read um, you've got City uh, Mephiston City of Light by Darius Hinks um, so a Mephiston novel for a few pages and a little advert for Black Library and um, more about the hobby and that's it. Um, so there you go. I, I obviously don't want to read too much into the story and things, but um, I'm guessing that it dives into, into depth um, between Space Marines, Primaris, maybe features the new uh, units and things, maybe has an overworld flyer in it like um, Dark Imperium did. Um, but. Uh, Here's hoping. Anyway, that's just my uh, little first look. I like to do these first look of these novels uh, just to give you the page numbers more than anything and um, uh, sort of the page quality and, and any extras and things you may be getting. Um, so what do you guys think? Uh, please keep spoilers to a minimum as always, but the book has just come out. Uh, put your comments and things down below as always. There's still time to win uh, an Indomitus uh, box set. Uh, just go on the, the, the giveaway video on the channel and uh, you can win that set uh, worth £125. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.